Welcome to our course on complex analysis. In this lecture, we are going to continue our discussion about differentiation of complex valued functions. As we had uh, some formulas, some rules for derivative of uh, real valued functions, we have the similar properties for the complex valued functions as well. That is what we are going to explore in this lecture. In the previous lecture, we concluded by observing something that the partial derivative of uh, certain functions exist, whereas the function is not uh, differentiable at all the points. Okay, we have seen an example, and uh, this is what we have uh, observed. Next, uh, I would like to place on a result that is uh, okay. Let me write that as a note. Uh, differentiable functions are continuous ones, whereas the converse need not be true. Okay, uh, for example, okay, let me start by assuming uh, some function is differentiable. Suppose f is differentiable. Okay, let me choose a random point z naught. Okay, then limit z approaches z naught f of z minus f of z naught upon z minus z naught exists and is equal to f prime at z naught. This limit exists. Exist means this is some finite quantity. Okay, so here by finite quantity I mean the absolute value of that complex value is finite. Okay, this is what we have here. Uh, let us consider f of z minus f of z naught. This quantity as f prime. Okay, as limit z approaches z naught. Since uh, z and z naught are different, this is valid. Okay, this is some finite quantity and is independent of z. So we shall take this outside and here we have limit z approaches z naught, z minus z naught and in the left hand side this is, this involves z, actually here we have like this, so only this quantity involves z and this is independent of z so we shall write this way, okay. Now, if you find the limit, you are going to get minus f of z naught and this quantity is going to be f prime evaluated at z naught and multiplied with 0 and this happens to be 0. Okay. Therefore, limit z approaches z naught, f of z is same as the top f of z naught and since the choice of z naught was arbitrary, we conclude that the function f is continuous okay for the converse what about the converse converse need not be true how did we conclude it just because we have a uh, consider the function f of z to be absolute of z squared this f is continuous everywhere on c but differentiable only at z equals 0 so this function helps you to conclude that the continuous functions need not be differentiable ones right Next, uh, I am going to give you the uh, differentiation formulas. Okay, uh, formulae. Yeah, the first one is derivative of any constant is zero, as we had in the uh, real analysis in the calculus of uh, real variables. Here also, the derivative of a constant, it may be a complex constant as well is 0 and derivative of z is 1 and derivative of a scalar multiple of any function 
स्केला मल्टीपल ऑफ दी डेरिवेटिव ओके एंड डी अपॉन डी सेट ऑफ जी टू द पार एन एस एन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ जी टू द पार एन माइनस वन एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर वेरी ट्रिवियल ओके द नेक्स्ट the sum of two functions derivative of the sum of two functions is same as that of the derivatives that is f prime evaluated at c plus g prime evaluated at c and e upon d is set of uh, f of c multiplied with g of c and this happens to be f of c g prime at c plus f prime at d g of z okay here uh, you need to remember one thing while defining the uh, derivative of uh, function of complex variable we impose the condition that the function has to be continuous okay so remember these functions are continuous basically these functions are continuous uh, here i have given you the formulas uh, none of which i have proved okay only the product rule let me prove and uh, i leave remaining things as an exercise to you people to verify these things so in order to prove this let me uh, let me consider um, this one okay uh, let me consider del w okay this is going to be f of uh, like yeah f of z plus delta z multiplied with z of z plus delta z Minus f of c, g of c. Okay, I am adding and subtracting a quantity mm, that is uh, minus f of g of c plus delta c plus f of c, g of c plus delta c minus f of c. g of c okay from the first two quantities what i am doing is that i am taking z of g of z plus delta z as a common quantity okay we have taken this as a common quantity and um, then here we would have uh, plus f of c let me take it outside then i have the function in g okay now let me evaluate my delta w upon delta z and that happens to be f of z plus delta z minus f of c upon delta z multiplied with g of c plus delta c and here f of c g of the function in g right so this is what we have now if you take limit delta z approaches to zero um, by the uh, definition of a derivative this quantity becomes this quantity goes to f prime as delta z approaches zero by the continuity of uh, g we may write this as simply g of z as delta z approaches zero and this goes to g prime at z as delta z goes to zero so finally uh, when we observe this thing shall be written as f prime evaluated at z then g of z plus f of z and then g prime evaluated at z so this is what we expected right so and uh, now the remaining things that is uh, d upon d z of uh, f of z upon g of z so whenever i write a quotient function hope you remember the uh, 
condition that is required to define Cauchy's functions, and this quantity is simply g of z f prime at z minus f of z g prime at z upon g of z whole squared. Okay, so hope you people uh, the the same thing that we had in the uh, course on uh, calculus of one variable or real analysis. Right. Next is the chain rule. So chain rule. So the, here the rule tells us that suppose f has a derivative at z naught and g has a derivative at f of z naught then the function then the function big f of z that is g of f of z as a derivative at z naught and we shall write f prime evaluated at z naught is g prime evaluated at f of z naught multiplied with f prime at z naught in other words uh, like uh, if we let w to be f of z big w to be g of w then your big w is f of z then we have dw upon dz is dw upon d small w multiplied with d small w upon dz okay uh, now let me give you an example uh, here i am not going to prove this uh, i leave this as an exercise to you people okay and let me provide uh, an example so we are given some function f of z to be 2z squared plus iota to the whole power 5 okay we need to find out the uh, df upon dc how do we do it we just treat uh, like the same thing we are going to do we just treat this quantity as a single variable so have it as uh, w so this becomes w to the power 5 so first you will have to differentiate with respect to w when you differentiate with respect to w you are going to get 5w to the power 4 and then you will have, you must have dw upon dz so this is 5 times of 2z squared plus iota to the power 4 and when you differentiate this quantity with respect to z then you are going to get 4z so the final answer is 20z multiplied with 2z squared plus iota to the whole power 4 right so with which i conclude this lecture and uh, here i have uh, left the properties as an exercise to you people as we have uh, done the similar things in uh, calculus that is for the uh, functions of real variable case i give the link in the description you can refer and replicate the proof accordingly thank you